Today, the question is simple. Is a and in Singapore any good? And to answer the question, we're going to order every prominent item on the menu. No, not every item because of the, you know, small starving YouTuber thing. But... Every prominent item should give us a good enough idea of how good a and is. And if it's really good, how come it had to close all its outlets in Singapore back in 2013? Did you know a and is actually the first fast food in Singapore, setting foot on our island in 1966, even before McDonald's and KFC. It also had Singapore's first ever fast food drive-in back in 1970. A&W set up by one Roy Allen and Frank Wright, the A&W coming from their initials, is an American fast food joint whose signature item is the root beer. The root beer is not really a beer, but it does have roots. It's actually a beverage made by combining syrup with roots, literally roots. More specifically, the root bark of the sassafras tree. There are of course many other recipes featuring other tree barks, spices and herbs, and the root beer actually has medicinal roots. Uh, roots. At least for the ones drank back in the day. I cannot say as much for the modern commercial root beers. I cannot imagine this is any good for you. Anyway, please welcome the very first item of the day, the root beer. By right, this should have a different taste from the canned ones that you have in your convenience store. By right. Uh. Already very sus because I don't feel any ice, probably melted on the way here. It's never a good sign for fast food drinks. Root beer. Just nice, I'm very thirsty too. <sighs> the good news is, it's not diluted. But, <laughs> other than having less gas, it tastes quite the same to my tongue. Huh. Not off to a good start. This gets a B. I can't really give it such a low grade because it's, it's, it's just soft drinks. Uh. I mean, it does the job. Yep, this gets a B. Next up, we have an A&W exclusive. Their flagship Moza Burger. And I ordered extra nacho cheese to come with this. It was an option, but it was not the greatest experience. The cheese has What's the word? Like, kicked up already. It wasn't as liquid as I would have liked. And I see two beef patties, and I believe this is turkey bacon. Looks pretty bad. Looks like the, the fake meat that you get at vegetarian bihun stores. And lettuce and tomatoes. Oh, you might have also realized the new setup now, which means I can do this. Focus. Ah, look at that. Not the best image, but ah, oh well. Okay, I want to try without the cheese first. Let's get a bite back here. Now with the cheese. The hit is, it's flawless. It's a very well balanced burger. American cheeseburger, there's two patties, there's the orange, the classic orange burger sauce. There's pickles, the tomatoes, the lettuce. The patty has sufficient flavor. I really cannot find anything wrong with it. Even the price at 9.30 for a double burger seems okay. Double burger with turkey bacon and all the condiments. I think this is, I think the price is quite okay. The cheese sauce, you can have it, you can leave it out. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. I think the best part is how balanced the burger is. This gets an A in my book. Moving on, we have the chicken coney dog with beef sauce. At first this just came with the chicken dog and I was like quite surprised like it kind of feels bad. It feels like those kind of Ikea hot dog. But they gave the beef sauce separately, which actually looks a lot like rendang. Okay, let's give this a go. This is incredibly mediocre. <laughs> Just the bread and the hot dog. Feels like you bought some cheap white bread, got a hot dog from a supermarket and boiled it. The hot dog is very flat and a bit more to the salty side. The beef chili sauce is okay, but at $6.10 for a hot dog, this gets a D. 
moving on, we have the same chili sauce with curly fries. Let's just get a plain curly fry first. Now with the sauce. It's not terrible. I almost have nothing to comment. It's exactly how I imagine it to taste. Which is both a good and bad thing, I guess. More of a good thing. This gets a B. Moving on. Oh, I'm was quite excited for this one. A chubby chicken sandwich. Huh, chicken breast, interesting. The finishing is not that great. Seems pretty squashed. But let's give this a go. I was more excited for this one because of I kind of like chicken sandwiches. And in Singapore, I think the only good one is McSpicy. Unfortunately, the zinger just doesn't really do it. So let's give this a go. The chicken itself is actually pretty flavorful. But using breast meat is so brave. And unfortunately, it didn't pay off this time. Like, it clogs up the mouth so much because of all the fibers. And there is not enough sauce to facilitate the process. <laughs> huh. I think even Zinger can beat this. This gets a D. Moving on, we have a classic double cheeseburger. So, very classic, sesame bun, two patties. The cheese is actually melted very well. Tomato sauce and pickles. Give this a try. I'm not sure if I blind tasted this and McDonald's double cheese. Will I be able to tell the difference? But my wallet will be able to because this comes in at six ninety a la carte compared to McDonald's. What's the usual price? I know they sell it for two dollars here and there, but I cannot remember the usual price. So probably double the price. This gets a C. It's still a tasty burger, but really expensive. <laughs> Moving on, we have onion rings. Ho. Oh. This was four fifty five, and this was all I got. Four, five, maybe six, five, somewhere there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, but they are pretty sizable. Uh. Finally, one item that I think stands out in all of the fast foods in Singapore. This is very, very enjoyable. Crunchy exterior, not exactly fluffy, but tasty interior. The smell and the taste of the onion is so sweet. There's no longer any of that spiciness or that bite of the onion. Slightly pricey at 4 dollars That means one piece is at like 90 cents, but very worth it. This gets an A, and I left this item to the last. The Golden Aroma Chicken by a and The cross, man. The outlook is very alike, uh, I, I want to say Arnold's. The batter is probably more liquidy as compared to the, the drier ones of KFC. Let's give this a go. Oh. Hmm. This chicken is the closest thing I've had to KFC's original recipe. It tastes and feels texturally so similar to KFC's original recipe. If it, I'm not sure it's exactly an impressive thing. Because I always thought KFC's original recipe has such a unique feel to the chicken and unique smell to it but this comes really close you'll probably still be able to tell and distinguish one from another but i was quite surprised that something came so close as for the chicken itself this is really tasty all the way to the bone the seasoning on the batter too is is very enjoyable 
The price is neither cheap nor expensive. It, one two piece is at seven fifty, which makes one piece three twenty five. Uh, almost smack in the middle for fast food one piece chicken a la carte. In terms of price, one thing though it is not spicy, which is an interesting choice considering how much uh the Singapore market likes spiciness. For those who are fans of the KFC original recipe, you should really try this. Huh. So do I give it an S tier or A tier? KFC is the best chicken in Singapore, and this comes close. So they should be in the same tier, right? So it should be S tier, and it's also the best item I've had today. Yeah, S tier. So after having all of the items I had today, I think A and W is pretty good. Quite a lot of people would say that A and W is only worth trying once, especially after how much hype it got after opening the first store in Jewel, which I think is actually a curse for them. You don't want to have too much hype. You don't want to be viewed as a hype food establishment as a fast food. For example, like McDonald's, it's not hype. Hype is something that you rush to try and then never try again. A and W wants to be there in everybody's daily meal. And it's very unfortunate that everybody viewed them as such a a hype thing. Uh. I think as a day-to-day -day meal, at this quality of food and at this price, it's a great option. I'll definitely have A and W again. But of course, specific items lah. You know, like the Moza burger and the chicken. I was hoping the other items today, like the root beer, the chicken sandwich, the beef sauces, right, can surprise me, such that A and W has something special going on. But these are really skippable items. A and W would have been great if they have like signature items that only they can deliver at a certain level. But from what I tasted today, they are only good. And that's all I have for you guys this time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.